It's a 200-year-old industry, employing around 9,000 workers in towns like Singleton. You think everything's going good, and boom, they're gone. Coal miners Carl and Scott Shoup hail from East Kentucky. Coal in the U.S. has won basically two world wars, and it's kept the lights on for the U.S. for years. The father and son warned that the downturn in U.S. mining has been devastating. Hundreds of mines have shut. Jobs lost to cheaper gas, automation and a shift to renewables. There was no plan B. I mean, it was just up and gone, you know, and there you are left with your hands open. What do we do? Last month, local New South Wales producer Glencore promised to cap its coal production to reduce global warming. Despite this, the industry says business remains strong. As the world transitions to new energy sources, that is providing opportunities too, but coal will continue to have an important role to play, particularly our high efficiency, low emissions coal, providing that energy into the developing economies of Southeast Asia. But analysts suggest big investors are abandoning coal. The Hunter Valley is extremely exposed. It's probably one of the most exposed communities, economies and states in the world to this long-term zero thermal coal use trajectory. As the ground shifts, there's calls for a transition plan. The end is coming and it, it might be next week, it might be 10 years from now, whatever, but it's coming. A stark lesson about tough choices ahead. Greg Miss Kelly, ABC News.